Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Crimson Tides have shown few signs of weakness lately. They are exuding confidence in everything they do. String together a few Ws, that's exactly what happens. We'll see if they can keep it up. That's going to do it for us. Thanks for checking out the pregame show. NCAA college football action coming right at you. Brad and Kirk on the call. David and I are back at halftime. Texas A&M has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. Johnson from the eight. He's out to the 30, and he's shoved out of bounds at the 33-yard line. Alabama's staff and their fans have heard all week long their quarterback's going to play terribly on the road. I think their staff's got them ready to prove them wrong right now. I, I think this staff really has rallied this entire team around some of that negative talk. And I think they believe in their guy that he can go on the road and make the plays and lead them to a big victory. I, you know, sometimes when you hit some adversity like that, you see teams circle the wagons. And I, and I really believe this week they've done a great job of doing that. Now they just have to go out and execute the plan and go out and win this game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Runs right for a nice game. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the that defense will wear down. down very quickly. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 46-yard line. Caught. Enough for the first down. Tackle made at the 39. What a throw for a big game. That is a great example of the quarterback seeing the whole field and finding the guy who had the best chance of making a catch. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. He's at the 30. He gets out to about the 17-yard line. That's a At the six-yard line. Looks like the defense played the run that time. With this offense, you've got to be ready for a pass on any down in any situation. First and goal from the five and looking to cap this off with a touchdown. Fires quickly and they got it. Touchdown. He's 
splits the uprights with the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese. The Tigers came into the game ranked seventh. They're now bungee jumping, and the cord's going to break. An old coach once said, if you don't think every game's important, just try losing one. Apparently, this team believed it. They tried, and they lost. A major upset is now in the books. The Golden Flashes pull it out by a field goal. Elsewhere, we've been watching this one going on in Manhattan. It felt as if the game rested on every play. Boyd's willingness to run for the tough yards results in a pair of touchdowns. The Wildcats get the W, 31-30. You can never overlook any team any week in college football. Wow. Williams looks ready to kick this one off. Smith fields at the goal line. And he's tackled at the 28. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. Strike and he drops it. Uh, the intended receiver on the play. That makes it second and ten. From their own 28-yard line. It's second down. They'll spread the field with five wide. And he snags that one. And he's tackled at the 42-yard line. Just another weapon for this offense. He's got good hands, and he's tough to bring down. He showed right there that he can make something big happen. A quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And he hauls that one in. They'll bring him down at the 46. Try and scramble. Got the corner. And down he goes at the 42. That makes it second and six. Five wide. Up the middle for a nice game. Shot to the tight end, and he can't pull it in. So it's fourth down. What do you think they're going to do here? At this point in the game, they might as well go for it. They won't lose much field position if they don't get it, and they only have a couple yards to go. Burke awaits the snap. It's a short kick. He was able to deaden that kick perfectly, and he gives them a long field to work with. They ran the ball very well on their last drive, and it resulted in six. Alabama is up a score. He's to the 20, and they push him out at the 27. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on their own 27. Three down, three down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. They give to the tailback. And they make the stop right around the 30. The back gets three on the carry. That'll make it second and seven. Here comes the pressure. Brought down at the 43-yard line. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From their own 43-yard line. First down. Tackled after decent pickup. 
brings up second and five. Right gets another hand on. He's taken down at the 48. Too easy, too easy. That'll make it 35. Third down, five yards to go. Ball on their own 48. Halfback's got it on the quick throw. And he's taken down at the 50. They pick up two on the pass play. Nice grab there by the tailback to at least move the ball forward for some positive yards. And a great ball game so far as we reach the end of one. 7-0, Crimson Tide. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Get ready, get ready. Battle is set back, ready to punt. He'll probably try to pooch this one into the corner. It's away. Short punt. There hasn't been too much daylight between these two teams. In games like this, some players try to press too much, and that can cause mistakes. He's got an opening. He's out to the 30. Tackle at the 34. Six yard line. Not that impressive of a play. Let's see if they continue to employ the short passing game or if they decide to run the ball. Quick pass. Tackle made at the 46 yard line. out to around the 15. It's third down and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. Scrambling. Dives and he's down. Check 
check, check. Check. Dancer, dancer. Check 99. Check 99. Go. Go. Fires quickly, and he's got his receiver for the touchdown. That's a positive for the passing game. It was absolutely the right call in that situation. They'll line up for the extra point in an attempt to tie the game. And he adds the extra point. So an 11 play, 79 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well executed touchdown drive. We're even at seven in this one. And he's taken down at the 33. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. At the 30. He's knocked out of bounds at the 18. First down. So after the big pass play, we've got a first down. That's a great tackle at the 15. Down Crimson Tide. He makes the PAT. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 20. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Pulls it in and stopped in his tracks with that tackle. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. It's second down, seven to go. Ball on the 26. Red to it. Now he tries to buy some time, and they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. He chucks it downfield. Incomplete. Pretty good effort here by the quarterback of trying to squeeze that ball into a tight spot. Yeah, I, I know it was incomplete, but he didn't have too many other options. Hendricks is back to receive. He makes it out to maybe the 46-yard line. Alabama's offense is just clicking on all cylinders, Herbie, right now. It's everything they planned for, and it's all working. Everything is coming together for this offense. They seem to be getting better with each series. And, you know, this game started where this team was, you know, they wondered if they were going to be able to move the ball against this defense. And I think right now, I think they seem to, as I said earlier, they seem to be growing with their confidence with each possession. And a quick throw. And he's tackled at the 32. Carpenter with the tackle at the 32-yard line. That makes it first and 10. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 32. Alabama is up seven. Watch 
fires quickly to the tight end. They'll bring him down around the 22-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Catches it and gets out of bounds. That's a game of four on the First down. We're at the one-minute mark, first half. There's a strike complete. Big play there, and now they're looking at first and goal. Alabama is going to have to use their second time out of the half. a physical football player, but he's also got the finesse to make a big impact in the passing game. And he hits the PAT. It was a five-play, 45-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. An amazing drive for this offense. Outstanding execution. If you're the defense, you've got to do something to try to change things up to get this quarterback out of sync. The score now, 21-7. Fielded at the four. He's tackled at the 21-yard line. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. Fires out to his wideout. And down he goes at the 33-yard line. So the Aggies use their second time out. From their own 33-yard line, it's first down. Now he's scrambling, and he can't get away from the pressure. And for Warren, that sack was his fifth of the year. He really fought to get to the quarterback that time. He's certainly shown that he can get it done on a week-to-week -week basis. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. They found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. So the sack makes this third and very long. the stop at about the 29 yard line and that'll do it we head to the break still plenty of time left in this one Alabama's lead is two touchdowns hi everybody glad to have you with us on the EA Sports NCAA football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan innovation that excites Davis, David Pollock here in the studio as always to lend a little perspective to what just went down in the first 30 minutes. Perhaps the most important statistic in any football game is turnover margin. I once had a wise coach tell me that the football was so important they named the game after it. Whatever that means. I think it means that you're not supposed to let it get away from you and give it to the other team. And so far, both of these offenses have done a great job of that. No doubt. And most games are lost, not won. And, and it's because of the turnover differential. You can look at the stats when you say that every single time. But, you know, both teams doing a good job taking care of it. Both offenses executing and still calling a game, still, still scoring points, still putting up good numbers but at the same time taking care of the pigskin and they better value that thing because yeah you give it away and bad things happen i can only hope that nestler and herb street will bring the same type of intensity to their call of the second half that david and i have brought to the halftime show of course they always do that's it for us here in the studio time to get you back out to the guys for the second half
And we welcome you back to the action here. Just about set for the second half. These guys have to be more careful with their ball control. To be successful, you need to avoid safeties at all costs. Tries to get around the corner. He gets out to about the 45-yard line. They're set to go for another round. And he tackles him hard at the 45. Carpenter on the tackle at the 45-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. Hit and taken down. Taylor makes the tackle at the 40 yard line. First down. They get to the quarterback, and now the ball is loose. They'll get him for a loss. looking for another sack in the second down and long situation. Here's the throw. I don't think he got anything on that. He sails it long. And he got it! Breaks one and scores! And he tacks on the extra point. A nice five-play, 60-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. Robinson from the four at the 30. He's taken down at the 38. Alabama's coaches just got to be happy. I'd love to coach a kid like this. Oh, I think these coaches love to coach a, a guy like this, and another great performance by him individually and for this offense. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. They'll work the left side. And he's shoved out of bounds at the 43. That'll make it second and four. to the wide out first down right down right around the 44 yard line that makes it first and 10 he scrambles he's taken down around the 40 yard line
the delay. Lost the ball. Fumble. The back can consider himself very fortunate this time because the offense recovered. But the next time, he might not be so lucky. Second and seven. Ball in the 29. Black pick. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Williams gains around six yards on the draw play right there. Watch two, watch two. Let's go, D. Black five, black five, two, twenty. Out of bounds at the 20-yard line. Well, they didn't need too much on that play. And let me tell you, they didn't have any room to spare because they barely picked up the first down. going to try and scramble. The 10 dives for extra yardage. And he makes it out to about the five yard line. That's good for a gain of two yards. That brings him second and goal. Around the four yard line. That's a deal of one on the play. That makes it third and goal. And this is the 11th play of the current drive. And two. And he hits him hard at the three yard line. And he gets a yard on the run. That brings us fourth and goal. So it's fourth down. This one should be makeable. So the Aggies had one of their key players go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to get back in the lineup. It's up, and they tack on three points. Texas A&M lines up for the kickoff. Taken from the three-yard line. Tackle made at the 29. So with one quarter remaining, the Crimson Tide in front, 30-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. Both teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. He's going to go for Tackle made right around the 32-yard line. And for Towns, he brings his receiving yardage to 100. Well, they continue to put the football in his hands, and he continues to make plays for them. This guy right now clearly is the go-to guy for this offense. So let's see how the defense responds now. It's first down and 10. Tackled at the 30 yard line. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Tight right, tight right. Four down, four down. Check four, check four. Three, three, six, one, eight. Two, one, eight. Quick throw, and he's tackled at the 23 yard line. Number 29 with the tackle at the 23 yard line. Third Short yardage situation here. It's third and one. Four down, four down. Watch 36. 36 to Mike. He's out. Let's go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Call it a gain of six yards. First down. Give. Nice run there. Right. Gains about five yards on the run. 
That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. than three minutes in the game. Fires it again to his tight end, and he's hit immediately. He picks up a yard on the play. Usually you get a linebacker covering the tight end, so they might want to try some longer passes to exploit that mismatch. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. is up and it sails through the uprights. Alabama's got one of the best quarterbacks in the business. He played like one on that last drive. Oh, that drive was huge to set up that game winning field goal. The quarterback at times just looked so relaxed back there like he was just playing a video game. Just making good decisions and moving the ball right down the field for that game winning kick. Alabama ready to kick this one off. From his own goal line. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 22-yard line. Alabama's defense has been a force to be reckoned with, especially in this game. Well, they have stepped up today. They just seem to be dialed in to what this offense is trying to do. Good job against the run. They've been very physical. What I love is how relentless they run to the football. Both squads are digging in now. Let's see what happens on this next drive. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Quick strike and he drops it. Third down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. A little over a minute in the game. Strike to his receiver, no good. Accuracy is such a vital part of being a quarterback. You've got to have an ability to lay the ball right into your guy's hands. Dog, They'll bring him down at the 40. Dangerous pass here, and it falls incomplete. Second and ten. Ball on their own 40. They come out in a five-wide set. And he throws right away. Brought down with only one man to beat. Nice play to set up first and goal. A nice completion to the tight end. A good play here, and the thing that I notice is that he provides a nice big target out there for the quarterback. And this is the eighth play of the drive. They'll spread the field with five wide. He gets sacked on the play. Well, he isn't one of the best players in the country for nothing, Kirk. He is just relentless in his pursuit of the quarterback. He is certainly a first-class pass rusher. From the 15-yard line, it's second down. Quick pass. 
And down he goes. It's right around the 10 yard line. That's a game five on the play. Easy, easy. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Just throws this one away. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. So it's fourth and goal. And it looks like the offense is going to try to throw one in the end zone. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Well, that one should do it. A fourth down stop here late in the fourth quarter. And that should be the nail in the coffin in this game. When the first down marker is that far away, someone's got to step up and make a play on fourth down. It just didn't happen for him here. Nine times out of ten, the defense will make a stop on that play, but, you know, based on the situation, this offense did have to go for it. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Makes it out to about the 20. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And this one's all but wrapped up with the final score, Alabama 33, Texas A&M 10. So that wraps things up for us, 3A Sports and Kirk Herbstreit. I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.